Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problem on first order linear recurrence relation. In the previous video, we are already discussed about one example problem on first order linear recurrence relation. Now, in this video, we have to solve another example problem on first order linear recurrence relation. Okay, so solve the recurrence relation a sub x n is equal to 7 into a sub x n minus 1 for n greater than or equal to 1 given that a2 is equal to 98. Okay, so given recurrence relation is a sub x n is equal to 7 into a sub x n minus 1 for n greater than or equal to 1. First of all, uh, this is a first order linear recurrence relation. How can you say that this is a first order recurrence relation? Here, nth term can be defined in terms of its previous term that is the n minus 1 term. Okay, nth term of a given recurrence relation can be defined in terms of only one previous term that is a n minus 1 term. So, by, you, by using this condition, we can say that the given recurrence relation is a first order linear recurrence relation with the given initial condition is a2 is equal to 98. So, now we can say that the given the recurrence relation the given recurrence relation is is a first order first order linear or a homogeneous homogeneous recurrence relation how can you say that this is a homogeneous uh, recurrence relation? Here, f of n part is equal to 0. If the f of n part is equal to 0, hence we can say that it is a homogeneous or a linear recurrence relation. Otherwise, it is called as a non-homogeneous recurrence relation. Okay. In the first video of uh, in the first video of first order recurrence relation so we are already say that f of n part is equal to 0 if f of n part is equal to 0 hence we can say that it is a homogeneous or a linear recurrence relation whenever this is a first order uh, linear or a homogeneous recurrence relation what is the general solution? The general solution of the general solution of first order first order linear or a homogeneous recurrence relation recurrence relation is is a sub x n is equal to c power n into a naught so this is equation 2 and uh, this is equation 1 ok so now in the given recurrence relation substituting n plus 1 in the place of n ok in equation 1 substituting substituting n plus 1 in place of n in place of n so now a sub x n plus 1 is equal to 
7 into a sub x n plus 1 minus 1. Okay. Here n the play in the place of n we are substituting n plus 1. A sub x n is replaced with the a sub x n plus 1 is equal to 7 into a sub x n minus 1 is replaced with the a sub x n plus 1 minus 1. So plus 1 and minus 1 cancel. So then we get a sub x n plus 1 is equal to 7 into a sub x n. Here n greater than or equal to 1 is there n greater than or equal to 1, the given condition. In that one also, we are substituting n plus 1 greater than or equal to 1. Here, 1 can be taken into right hand side. So, n plus 1 minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. Plus 1 minus 1 cancel. n greater than or equal to 0. Okay. So, this one. n greater than or equal to 1 can be changed to n greater than or equal to 0 by substituting uh, n plus 1 in the place of n. So, this is we are getting. Okay. So, now this is uh, equation 3. Equation 3. So, now if a sub x n is equal to c power n, then then a sub x n plus 1 is equal to c power n plus y. Okay. So, here a sub x n plus 1 value is, so that is a 7 into a sub x n. Already in the equation 3, a sub x n plus 1 value we have calculated 7 into a sub x n is equal to c power n into c. So, here it can be written as a power m plus n can be written as a power m into a power n. So, in the same way, c power m plus 1 can be written as c power n into c. Okay. Now, 7 into a sub x n value is nothing but c power n. So, c power n is equal to c power n into c. Okay. Both sides c power n value is there. So, we have to cancel that c power n. So, then the remaining is c is equal to 7. c is equal to 7. Okay. Now, so the initial, uh, the initial condition. So, substituting c value 7 in the given general solution. So, substituting substituting c value in equation 2. So, after substituting c value in equation 2, then what we are getting? a sub x n is equal to 7 power n into a naught. 7 power n into a naught. Okay. So, now so, what is, the, what is the initial value we are given? So, that is A2 is equal to 98. This is the initial condition we are given. A2 is nothing but N is equal to 2. Okay. So, substituting, substituting, this is equation 4. Substituting N is equal to 2 in Equation 4. Okay. So, n is equal to 2 is substituted in equation 4. So, that is a 2 is equal to 7 power n into a naught. Okay. What is a2 value? a2 value is already there in the problem. That is a 98. 98 is equal to 7 power 2. n value is also 2. Okay n value is also 2. 7 power 2 into a naught. So, therefore, 98 is equal to 7 square is nothing but 49 into a naught. So, therefore, a naught is equal to 98 by 49. So, that is equal to 2. Okay. Now, substitute a naught value in equation 4. So, substitute a naught value 
in equation 4. So then we are getting a sub x n is equal to 7 power n into 2. This is the solution of the given recurrence relation. a sub x n is equal to 7 power n into 2. Okay. Because a0 value is equal to 2. Okay. Here we have to find out c value. We have to find out a0 value. Once we are getting these two values, then substituting in general solution of the first order linear recurrence relation. So, C value is a 7 and A0 value is equal to 2. Okay. In the problem, A2 value is there. So, based on that A2 value, we have to find out the A0 value. Once we are finding out C value and A0 value, then substitute it in general solution of the given recurrence relation. So, that is equation 4. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So, Divella Srinivasarao. Thank you. In this way, we have to solve the first order linear recurrence relations. Thank you.